thank you for that follow. Thank you for the support, my friend. Oh my goodness. I don't have any crazy alerts up right now. We are uh, working on that. I have to wait till possibly tomorrow. Hello, Jeff. Oh, happy day. I finally got a hold of you. Oh, Jeff. Hi, it's me, Tony. I'm collecting player names for a school project. You know, players just like you. That's right. You, the one holding the controller. Me? What? No. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. Yeah. Crap. Let's go smalls, because I like being publicly incor politically incorrect by spelling my name with lower cases. No, 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 no. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? Duh. I apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations, okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, talk to you later. Jeff, I hope that I can see you again when you are feeling up to it. From T-O-N- or Tony. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Well, okay. Aha, we can just go to the shop right here. No problem. Oh, dude, Albino, you don't understand. This is friggin' sweet. I'm glad you came in, my friend. I take it you play, uh, whatchamacallit? Oh, it's Albion Online. Oh my goodness. I'm an idiot. I called you Albino. Albion Online for the win. My bad, bro. Thank you again for the follow. Thank you for the support. Heck yeah. Let's call the Stoic Club. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click beep, beep, beep. Here we go. I have not tweeted at all today. I say I tweet a lot, and then today I, I literally was just like, I'm going to sleep. That's all I've been doing. I've been sleeping and just hanging out at home. I did not do anything else today. Mmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. Wait, what? I finally awakened the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My ID. My ID is, or my id is telling me. Okay. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Philosoph, philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? Yeah, it does. You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chances to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. Wow. That's insane. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's talk to her again. I don't care about all that stuff you're saying. What? What? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. I see. 
Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? Heck yeah. Let's get out of here, guys. We're going to eat some magic cake. Hey, Orthan, you down for some magic cake, bro? Magic what? Magic cake. What are you talking about? I'm going to get some magic cake right now, bro. Check this out. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all oh, leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. What? Trippy magic cake. That's what that is. That's a giant hash brownie. Oh, oh no. Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Uh, obviously, hash brownies, bro. Hash brownies. Yep, and it got you high. Like, look at what I'm dreaming about. Delam in the far east. I'm dreaming about uh, someone else. Look at this. This this person lives a life of luxury, man. The palace of Pooh, the crown prince. Oh, snap. Prince Pooh, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is the most controversial part about the entire game that I'm surprised Nintendo was like, okay, we'll just say, you know, you guys can sell this game now. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Use the treasures of Delam as you wish. Go in peace. Open the chest. Whoa! Cup of life noodles inside. Whoa! There's a brainstone inside. Whoa! There's more brain food inside. Oh yeah, hello? Is that Eunice? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sunday humor at a time like this. I deposited that much money into my account and I took out a whole bunch and I only have 300 left. Okay, all done, I saved. We'll continue. We will save at this point. Make a quick save. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. <laughs> Blushes. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. Obviously, I'm your favorite. I'm the prince. Now you bitches obey me. Whatever. Oh, Prince Pooh, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Let me in your home. Where's your bet? We're just going to take this. Whoa! There's a bottle of water inside. Oh my goodness, I stole a bottle of water. I'm Prince Pooh. It is mine. All your goods belong to me, right? You don't have anything here. Goodbye. Whoa! Jar of deli sauce. A jar of deli sauce. Delam restaurant. We accept dollars. Whoa! Bowl of rice gruel inside. Whoa! More bottled water. Can you imagine being so excited in real life? Whoa! You found a jar of pickles. <laughs> oh, definitely. I like. I actually like pickles, guys. I could be excited for a jar of pickles. 
I want down there. Give me that butterfly. Pink clouds. This is Mu, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can if you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. Moo is Moo. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again so long. What? He just, like, tornadoed out of here. This is where it gets weird and creepy, guys. Ah, Prince Pooh. I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. This is where it comes into play. You can't actually use the D-pad, because if you do, you'll actually break your meditation and have to go climb down the rope off of it and then go back up there to start all over again. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say. It is the truth. What do you think, Orvin? <coughs> Prince Pooh. <coughs> I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. This is all of that controversial stuff for a child's game. Because it's... Uh, what's it rated? Uh, K to A. Kids to adults. Ages 6 plus. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yes. <laughs> you have to literally give up everything. So Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms. Do you accept this? <clears throat> I have no eggs, arms and legs now. Ah, Prince Pooh, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Yes. So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? What happens if you select no? Um, it quite literally drops you from the meditation process, and you have to start it all over again. <clears throat> oh my god. Put in 3000 for the bank heist. Woo! So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. Though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Well, okay. It's like, uh, I'll miss you guys. I'll miss this place. And thank you, you guys. Now let me climb down. Ugh, ah, ah. Darn rope. Oh, 
Oh man. Uh, 